G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I am playing in the showdown, the biggest game in South Australia. I am absolutely pumped. I'll be playing for the Crows in the gut as an in and under midfielder. I'm 0 from 2 in the big blockbusters. I played in the Anzac Day Eve game and I played in the Derby and I haven't got the chocolates yet. So let's see if the Crowies can cause an upset at Adelaide Oval. Come on boys. McDonald in the middle with Keys and Sloan. O'Brien with the ruck tap. Or oh, Bokey. Oh, he couldn't take on two. Keys finds McDonald. Who gets caught. Leans back. Oh, well bodied by Charlie Dixon. Light work for the big Digo. Pretty tight start. The Crows want to cause an upset in the half against the rampaging. Port Adelaide as Ollie Wines from 55. Kicks the power second. McDonald's out of the guts. And they're walking it out. This poor Adelaide defence is under the pump here. Oh, the seed. Need a bit of a, a settler. That's a great kick to Lynch. This is the first look. Himmelberg inside 50. Lynch has kicked it into the man of the mark. Coming through now is Seedsman. He started this play. Goes to the top of the square. It's going to spill out. Forward. Malira. Yes. Now, where is McDonald? He's off. He's off. He's not in the middle. The man who signed with the Crows is not in the middle. And what is Tommy Duday doing? And McDonald's still on the pine. What's he doing? Get, get on the ground, brother. Connor Rosie lining up. Kick from 50. Never in doubt. The Power have a two-goal lead at quarter time. And they've been pretty good. They've been pretty good. McDonald, I don't know if he's touched it. He got taken off the ground very early. I don't know if Matty Nix was happy with his performance, but you need to leave the best players on the ground, Matty Nix. Here we go. Second term underway. McDonald's back in the guts. The Crowies, they're trailing by two goals. Bit of a slap and kick from Sloan. Brought to ground. Great little handball. McHenry, he's got McDonald finally back on the ground, and that's why you leave him out there, Nixie. That's why you leave him out there. He's got the ability to do that sort of stuff. His first touch and goal. Texan. Steps to the ground. McDonald's man just walks it out, and Bokey gets the separation and can run a long way here. Crow's defense have to be on here. Rosie runs, bounces, runs to 30 with no pressure at all, and he's kicked it. That's a really disappointing effort from the Crows boys. Connor Rosie has kicked his second. What well on Sloan. Gives one to Seed, who's found McDonald, who takes on his opponent, but he's missed. And that is half time. The Crows probably had the had the momentum in that. In that second turn, but couldn't capitalise. McDonald missed a chance. Got himself back into the game there, but it's a tough contest. The power are doing enough currently. O'Brien has been mopped in the ruck all day, if we're honest. Jeez, they got to start fast here, the Crows, because you feel like if the power kick the first couple, it could be curtains. Tex. Tech says, I'll get the clearance. Himmelberg over the top. This is Champagne Crows footy. Sort of the footy of 2017 with Lynch and Jenkins in the goal square. And that is a great goal. Got to keep this momentum up. Ended that last term really well and they've started this one okay, Motlop. Big contest and Jordan Butts was irrelevant. Simply irrelevant there. Dixon marks uncontested in the goal square and he kicks the power to an 11 point lead. It's frustrating. You feel like the, the closer we get, the power just seemed to kick one. It's tough. I'm not sure having Tex Walker in the ruck is helping necessarily. But he's slapped it straight to McDonald. Gets a little bit of room. Kicks inside 50. This is where they got to go to work. Himmelberg again out the back. He had a man on. He had a man on. Malira was running into an open goal. And they've been on the back foot for the last couple of minutes. And Mitch Georgiadis 
Once again, Tommy Dude and has left an uncontested mark to Georgiatis. Top of the goal square. That's the sort of stuff that'll kill you. Rilo Bryan hasn't won a ruck all day. Midfield's been mopped probably off the back of that. Dude, he's tapped it straight to the opposition. Rosie kicks inside 50. It's a foot race now. It is a foot race. And Motlop goals. It's game over here in the showdown. Good handball. Got to finish Lynch. It's been caught on the goal line. Ah, uh, just one of those one of those days. Three quarter time, much of the same. You just knew that if they got that little lead, the heads would drop and that's what happened. It's been all the power this game. Really frustrating stuff. McDonald keeps getting taken to the pine. I'm almost tempted to put McDonald one out inside 50 to see if that can help. And I might, I might do that. Well done, McDonald. He's got a man over the top too. Jeez, great spot. And Lockie Scholl, I stole his number. But I've potentially given him a goal. And he's kicked it. That's better. That's better from the lads. Now hopefully McDonald's the deep forward and we can try and get something. Oh, well done. Well done. Two in a row for the Crows. Where's McDonald though? Matty Nix is an absolute airhead. I've just put him inside 50 and he's not on the ground, I don't think. Two in a row for the Crows. The comeback's on here, you feel? They just gotta keep the momentum up. Little one, Scholl, Himmelberg. Back to Scholl. Oh. Keys, three in a row for the Crows. And it's game on. It is game on here at the Adelaide Oval. It's been an amazing comeback so far. First three last quarter goals have gone to the Crows. Pushing the back, wow. My man Carl Amon walks in, and he's hit the post. Jeez. Talk about a let off. Crows just want to crank it, and why not? Spills out. Malira. Tex Walker running on. How's it going to bounce? It's not going to sit up for him. It is. The Texan ran down. The Texan could have leveled it. Desperate times for the Crows. They've done everything to get back into it. Handball forward from Dude, picks up, handballs to the pocket, he's got McDonald in support. He gives to McDonald, gotta kick the goal, he's missed. McDonald's missed with six minutes to go. He's had an absolute hairler. No wonder Matty Nix has taken him off. Ball in, it's turned over, Malira. McDonald's handball to the goal square, runs on, he's kicked it. He has kicked it, and the Crows are in front by a point. It's going to fall to the ground. Texan can't tackle. There's three minutes to go. Jeez. Motlop's in position A. Well done, Talia. Brought to ground. Motlop keeps his feet. Bends it over his head. And the power. Have pinched the lead. And McDonald's on the pine. This is absolutely embarrassing from Matty Nix. I can't get my best player on the ground. I'm going to have to go without him. Going to have to back in my boys in the middle. No, nah, I'm bringing him on. I don't care. He's going to full forward. Two minutes 40. We need a goal. We need a winner. Texan. Kick forward. Big contest. Needs to get brought to ground. We're down by five. It all comes down to this. McDonald ball. A minute 30. Last contest of the day. Texan. Sloan. It all comes down to this. Tex. Sloan tackle. Big tackle. Who's this man? Handball's over the top. We need a hero. Mackay.
Can you believe what you've witnessed again? Robbery again. I have not won one of these big games. O oh, from three here. And it is frustrating. Oh, the game kept taking C. McDonald off the ground. Why, Matty Nix? He has got a lot to answer for in the post-game press conference. I just don't understand why McDonald kept going to the, the bench. It makes no sense. Missed one late, McDonald, and then Mackay on the siren has missed. So frustrating. That that one's going to sting for a little while, Crows fans. I apologise. Frustrating stuff. Anyway, guys, I appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone getting around the videos. A uh, little bit of fun, as always. Uh, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Cheers.